Everybody, welcome to the Hump Day Show, brought to you by the Three Way Podcast. I'm Jerks J R X Four X on Twitch, in uh, Instagram? Nah, not Instagram. J R X Four Instagram and Twitter J R X Four X. And over here, the man that apparently looks like he finally took a shower, <laughs> J P A K A Linkster One Hundred and One A K A, the Texans' second biggest fan. Woo! That big old win by the Texans, I mean. That's not what we were here to discuss. That's not why we're here. <laughs> All right, actually, we're here to talk about El Camino, a Breaking Bad Camino. movie. All right, so this movie picks oh. up right after what the end of the first of the whole series. Yeah, first yeah. Season, shit. And the whole season, the whole seasons. Yeah, series. The series. series. <laughs> Jesse Pick- Jesse Pickman is driving. That's what uh, you start off. <laughs> no but yeah this movie came out on netflix it didn't go to the theaters it came straight to netflix which was understandable especially after watching this movie after watching it you um, definitely got to, to understand it for this movie to come out at the time it did it's one late two probably unnecessary and we're about to get yeah, into agreed. all that right now um all right so breaking bad the series itself i mean regarded like one of the best tv series there is out there if not, if not the best it's TV series. it's very well done they don't miss very like, well like gaps in like storylines everybody's plots gets like very, very like, realistic in certain um, aspects uh-huh. gets uh, uh solved or like finalized and in the end you know we see walter white He's, you know. Spoiler alert! If you have not, I seen mean, by it, now if you haven't seen it, bro. I mean, I, I, I miss a spoiler alert, but all right, we're gonna do spoilers. We're gonna do spoilers, it. a little bit of spoilers from the series because the film itself does a lot of, uh, like, uh, flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> but like uh, the majority of the movies flashbacks. Yeah, because okay, so in the end of the series, um, uh, Walter was White is Walter dead. Walter Wright is presumed dead. Uh, Jesse escapes the 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 skinheads, um, and after like the, they've captured him, I forgot how long. I was trying to remember the whole time. Like how long did they have him in that cage? They because had him for a while. They, they had him for a they, while, for like a couple of they months. They shot his girlfriend. They shot his girlfriend. They left the little kid alive. They're yeah. Like, if you don't behave, we're gonna kill the kid. And yeah. they kind of tortured him, and they got into his head. Yeah. So he was like, and Walter White thought he was like, like uh, participating, like their partner. But when he mm-hmm. saw that. He realized that he was just like their, their fucking slave. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, pretty much. Because he he had intended to kill all of them. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So Jesse, so we okay. This movie, let's just go right into the movie. This movie literally picks up right after that scene right after, where like where this. at the end of the series, like uh, Walter's dead. Jesse's uh in the car leaving because Walter actually came and saved him. You see his 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 initial like, just so overwhelmed with like just happiness i would assume like that he's free that he's not there anymore but at the same time he's kind of like he's like you said they kind of like mess with him he's kind of like messed up in the head now because of this whole situation um and then and then so we we see him go so this is this is a part where i'm like all right so i guess we're gonna start seeing some some of the past characters or some of the past uh uh cast members you know from this film I, i i wasn't really too sure how far they would go into like um who we we would see like for example we didn't see saul goodman we at did, all. At all. They didn't even mention him at all. Well, they mentioned him, but you don't even see him in a flashback. Yeah, yeah. Um, we do see a flashback, speaking of flashbacks, of Jesse talking to, um, oh my gosh, what's his name? The, the viejito? Jack. Jack, I think. <laughs> Mike. 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 Yeah, Mike. <laughs> Mike, like, basically uh, uh, the the chicken guy's bodyguard or whatever, his muscle. Gus. <laughs> Gus. Gus. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you see him in a flashback talking about if you if you could restart or do it all over again, you know, where would you go? You'd be like, Well, Alaska. I'm like, what the fuck? Basically this this movie yeah. is is two things. One is Jesse Pinkman's adventure to getting out of a life he was in. Mm-hmm. And then meta like I guess metaphorically speaking, uh 
a redemption story. Yeah, I was about to say it's kind of like a redemption story as well. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So basically, this movie follow along like mm-hmm. his 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 intentions to try to escape. Uh, he he gets help from his friends, uh, Badger and the skinny dude. I forgot his name. Um, I think that is his name. <laughs> I don't and remember. It, and like honestly, the movie after this is like mm-hmm. nothing but flashbacks, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, it's flashbacks when he was captive. Yeah. Uh, the things are discussed during that discussion. Uh, there's like a little story where they go to uh, I forgot the blonde kid's name. What's his name? Oh, the, Todd. Uh, they go through a little story where Todd kills a maid because he finds his money. Oh and yeah. Then, uh, and then like he hides it somewhere. And this new. is a flashback. Yeah, yeah, and so it comes back to the present. Jesse uh, Jesse Pickman needs money, so he he goes in that house. He tears it apart. He can't find it. He finally locates it. Two people come in acting like cops. Yeah. Um, he finds out that they're not actual cops. They, yeah. they get the better of him, mm-hmm. and they take the money, but they come to an agreement, split it three ways. So then Jesse yeah. Pittman uh, spends the rest of the time through flashbacks and trying to find the guy who makes people disappear. He finally finds him. Mm-hmm. You know, um, He pays him all his money, but he's still 1800 short. He, fi- he goes and finds out the other yeah. two people that he remembers their welders that built the little cage where he was in, where he was cooking. Well, with the well when when he finds the money in one of the guys that he he didn't he didn't recognize at first, like like he realizes, all right, you know, you know, if you it, basically what happened in that moment when he when he gets uh, uh, caught up by those two guys that are acting like cops, uh, one of the guys ends up going out and like trying to distract uh, this one of the, the neighbors. Old, yeah, there was a, like a neighbor, na- nosy ass neighbor right there, yeah. and he's like he's like. So he goes to try to distract him, and then the the one that stays with Jesse, like pretty much has a gun to his head. He's like, you know, you, you need to do what I say. But Jesse Jesse's a little bit smarter than he looks, you know. He's like, I know you're not gonna shoot me because if you shoot me, you have to shoot the other guy, and if you shoot the other guy, you're gonna have to shoot somebody else because I mean, shooting anybody in this place is too loud. So he was like, you know what? Look, I don't need everything. Just you know, let me take half, whatever. And then the guy's like, well, you can take a third, and that's about it. But anyway, so he takes the money. Go, they they start leaving towards the car, well, their own cars, and then he finally recognized who it was. It was the guy yeah. who built the cage that he was in for like captured for yeah. months. Yeah. So he he goes back for that one thousand eight hundred. Uh, they get into a little squabble. They they do a gamble. The guy, the one of the guys, is like, hey, oh yeah, he's like, it well, was, it was like, yeah. I mean, you can tell if 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 Jesse's going back to go see this one person that he pretty much kind of got lucky like escaping from because the other guy could have really killed him like in the end but yeah. um uh yeah he he went back you know kind of like he doesn't have anything to lose so he's like you know what i really don't know anybody that would have money so he's like this guy would have it so he gets there and he's like you know waiting for them to like die down this party that they had and so he finally goes in there he just it's it's funny too i thought he was gonna like trying to like take him out or something but yeah, no he just like blazing. just walks right up in there like hey what's up can i have some money yeah. <laughs> so he kills both of them he gets the money yeah he goes to the guy he gives him the 1800 mm-hmm. uh, he still has some left over um and that guy takes him to alaska and then we see jesse pigman drive off into the snow not even the sunset it's basically yeah. snow and during yeah. this time he has a flashback to who i think is pretty hot his uh his ex who killed herself with, with meth and shit uh i forgot mm-hmm. her name mm-hmm. jessica jones uh, let's call her jessica jones jessica exactly. jones <laughs> <laughs> so yeah and that's it and honestly that's... i can see why this movie went straight to netflix like literally guys what i just explained was an hour and 46 minutes of the movie yeah and well let, let's get into it well what the the you... the movie itself it's literally like like a what like two three days maybe the max like the span of the movie yeah like it was really quick like it's literally right after the moment that he escapes him um so he's like a wanted man they know everything about him the cops are all over his ass like they're looking for him um so they they pretty much know what happened in that place too like they know he was caged but then they you see it on the news they were like arguing well he could have been caged he could have not blah 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 but yeah, uh, what were we gonna say about it? This movie. Well, let, let's discuss what you liked about it and what what you didn't like about okay. it. Okay. Uh, I mean, for me, what I liked about it is just revisiting that world. Uh, yeah. Seeing Badger, ba- that interaction with Badger when he's doing uh, the skinny guy is driving around. Yeah, and actually, Apex his name. Man, and, yeah, his like, name is Skinny. <laughs> yeah, Skinny Pete. That, skinny Pete. Yeah, uh, like it, it's funny, 
uh, seeing like M- Mike, um, seeing uh, Todd and and all this other stuff, like it brings you yeah. back to that world. Yeah. And it kind of makes you miss the show. That's what I liked about it. Yeah. What did you like? Well, uh, yeah, I, I did like that. And just a little side note as well. The guy who helped him uh, like disappear, quote unquote, Ed. Um, yeah. Real name Robert Foster, Forster, excuse me. He actually passed show. away recently oh, wow. too. Yeah, it was like the last thing he did. They were the last thing we like he, people saw him in. And he, uh, he was he did a good scene too. Yeah, he was in uh, Jackie Brown as well. Um, no, I think he was a he was a okay actor. I mean, he wasn't like um, you know Leonardo DiCaprio no, or anything. That but, was a good scene. But like, he was he's scene. a good actor. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, my I think what I liked about this movie is that we got a. We got an ending for Jesse because there was so much that did happen at the end of that yeah. series. You're like, what the hell is going to happen with Jesse? Is he going to like survive this? Is he going to kill himself? Yeah. Is he going to get killed by somebody else? I mean, who knows? So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, there wasn't a lot I can say that was like, I mean, look, like I, I happy get your about. point. I get your point. The thing mm-hmm. is, it's like you said, it's too late. Like mm-hmm. the interest was there <clears> right <throat> after. And if they would have came out with this, it would have been great. I think I think it's closure for Jesse, but it's not really closure for Walter White, but at the same time it is because the news announced he's dead. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's a closure overall. So I get that. It was just nice to be in that world again. Yeah, that too. I mean, speaking of Walter White, we do see him too. I didn't I didn't th- I was like towards the end of the movie, I was like, "Well, I guess we're not going to see him." But then towards the end of the movie, you actually see him in a flashback. And <laughs> it was funny, too, because I could tell that fool had, like, a wig, like, a prosthetic thing going on for his head where they were hiding his hair. I was like, oh, this looks so cheap. <laughs> but uh, it's so funny, too. Like, it's supposed to be right after that moment. But you can see where people age. You can see where people got, you know, gained some weight. You can yeah. see where Todd just... Todd gained a lot of weight. Todd, well, the, supposedly there was an interview about that and that he said that he didn't want to lose a weight because he, he had put on the weight for another movie. So he was like, well, you know, it's, it's Netflix and I don't think, not like people are going to go pay to watch this. <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, besides besides that, like revisiting that world, I what what else did I like? I don't know. Shit. There wasn't, there wasn't much, man. I don't know. I mean, my, we might as well just jump into what I did. What we did. Yeah, like. go ahead. One is basically the flashbacks. This movie was nothing but flashbacks of mm-hmm. the old shows. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of nostalgia. Um, mm-hmm. I think a lot of things were were cleared up here and there. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just like you said, man. It was just too done too late, man. Yeah, God, they should they should have done this way earlier. Yeah, they should have done this a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not like they didn't have this you know ready to go it was just like like if honestly if they had been at that age right after the show you would have closed the show with the bank because it would have been the movie yeah um i i i like i really did enjoy aaron paul that's his name right aaron paul yeah aaron uh, paul as jesse Pinkman. Uh, uh, his acting he did really he went back it didn't it reminded me of old jesse Pinkman. um right. i always thought he was a little bitch in the show but <laughs> he's a little bitch in this movie too so he did a good job yeah bitch yeah so i mean I, I did not come away saying like, hey, you know, it was pretty, I felt like, ah, this was a waste of fucking time. Mm. Like, you should have just left the show alone. Like, once the show's over, don't even bring it up. But I understood why they did it, at least closure for Jesse. And, you know, like I said, it's a whole bunch of flashbacks. Even in the end, they mm-hmm. went to a flashback. Mm-hmm. So, it was just like, I guess. No, I guess yeah, I mean, I I mean, I was, I was okay with the flashback. The flashbacks to me didn't really bother me. Um, because <clears throat> you love the show. I mean, yeah, like, but like it, it wasn't even that. It was just like, oh, you know, they're just trying to put it together in terms of what was going through his head, and like different. Actually, what they were showing too were moments that didn't appear on the sh- on the show itself. But it was like more like moments that happened in between the moments yeah. in the show. So again, like when they were shooting those those flashback scenes, it wasn't like them actually like pulling film from that from that time. It was them doing it now. And you can tell the difference. Like, you can see people getting older. Jesse doesn't look that young anymore. <laughs> but, um, it looks worn out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think this movie, just again, it's a little bit too late, a little bit too long, a little, and just really unnecessary. Um, honestly, just, just to let you guys know, should you watch it? If you're a huge fan, sure. Yes. If you're yes. not, 
then no, just watch the, then watch the TV series. Don't don't watch yeah. the movie. And don't watch the movie at all. I, I feel yeah. like there was no need for like there's really no need for it. There really wasn't. Like, if you would have left it alone, then it would have been cool. Uh, maybe if they would have done Walter White, but even then, it's too late. It's yeah. too late. It is. Uh, there's nothing you can do about that. And I, I mean, you know, I, I feel, I feel like this movie it was a waste of time. Now, if it would have been done mm-hmm. a long time ago, maybe it would be really mm-hmm. good. But you come in here knowing everything, and you already seen everything, and, and mm. you've seen it over, and you got to go back and catch up, and it's yeah. just like, ah. Uh, <laughs> it was just like, ah. Uh. All right, so then what's your overall rating for this film? Man, I give it a five. Five out of ten? Yeah, Damn. probably even less, really. I'm being generous with that five. It's yeah. a one-time watch. I think you're right. You're I fan. think it is a one-time watch, and I'll probably be like, I think I'm a, I would give it like a four out of ten. It just yeah. It wasn't. Stupid. It wasn't like okay. Look, it wasn't terrible. Like it's watchable. It's it, it's it's a good watch. It's not like like terrible acting or whatever. It's yeah, just, no, no, no. It just doesn't feel like this movie needed to be it made. It doesn't feel like Breaking Bad. It feels like an aftershock of Breaking Bad. Where yeah. there's no need for it. Uh, like you guys can say I'm a hater. I'm hating. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm really not. Like I actually enjoyed the. Sh- I love the show. This movie was okay. It was just done too late. Yeah. So you know the la- the last time, how old was I when this season ended? Uh, the, the series ended like <laughs> I I'm don't 32 remember. now. I'm 32 now. I was like what 27. Uh, I sure. Mean, yeah. I, I, how long was it? Was it uh, 2013. Ago? 2013. Oh shoot. That six was, years ago. Six years ago. Lord Jesus. Have, no, seven. Seven years ago. Six. Seven years oh, ago. 2019. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut them no, but it depends. Cause <laughs> it, ended, it ended like right in the beginning of the year. No, so. in September. Man, I don't know. All I know is I was getting high a lot back then. Man. You look like you're trying to get high right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, I'm just, oh, these fucking things. But, you know, uh, man, it was a long time ago. If they would have yeah. done it then, it would have been badass. But, you know, sh- yeah. shout out to them. It's going to pop up for a lot of the fans. A lot of the fans are I mean, if if, if you guys good, still want to still want to be in this kind of world, check out um, Better Call Saul. I think that's a pretty good show. It's also kind of like, like kind of like Breaking Bad is. It's like a slow burn at some moments, but it kind of picks up in some others. Um, yeah, I would recommend watching that. But for sure, if you haven't seen Breaking Bad at all and you're thinking about watching this movie, just watch the series. Yeah, watch the series. I feel like the series still holds to the test of time right now for these past well, almost a decade, right? Yeah. So I mean, it, it, it'll hold on, yeah. um, you know. But uh, yeah, man, uh, check out my Hero Academia. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> I still have to watch the new episode. I haven't watched it. Yet. It's not that good. You can just avoid it. <laughs> to be All honest. right, yeah. all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. That's been our review for the uh, Breaking guys. Bad Peace. El Camino. But El remember, Camino. you can catch us on Spotify, Podcasting Worlds, like Apple Podcasts, Anchor. Google Podcast, I believe, as well. Our main podcast is on the YouTube channel as well, The Three Way Podcast. Uh, don't know what our next week's episode is, but I think I have an idea, but we'll see. All right, guys. Good night or good afternoon, Peace, good afternoon, morning. Bye bye. Bye.